Well, I hope you're doing well. Today's video is going to be a video on Montal's Intense Cafe perfume. Now, this is an interesting one. This is one that is not my favorite type of um, perfume because of the notes. This one has a uh, rose and it's um, not really coffee, at least for my nose. This one, long story short, oh, sorry about that. Long story short, if Tom Ford's new not, well, not new, but newer perfume for, um, what's it called? Cafe Rose or Rose Cafe was to have a baby with Jardine or Nomad uh, in their Oman collection, the uh, sugar leather uh, perfume. If those two were to have a baby, this would be it. Uh, Montal is actually quite known to have decently priced perfumes. So, I mean, if you enjoy the sound of both of those perfumes, having a baby and making this type of creation, then I think you would enjoy this perfume. As for me, I'm a little bit um, not too keen on this, but I can give you an unbiased opinion. Um, this is a really great one and it has really good longevity because Montel perfumes, generally speaking, they do have great um, longevity. So I'm giving it a sniff here. This is... Um, this is an interesting perfume. It's the rose is slightly dirty, um, but in the nicest way possible. This isn't giving me Turkish delight vibes. Um, yeah, but the rose definitely stands out in this one. But as for the coffee, I'm not smelling it as much. I smell a dirty, beautiful rose. Um, it's one of those darker, dirty, beautiful roses. Um, Again, Montal is very well known for projection, longevity, sillage. So, I mean, if you love a rose perfume and a little bit of a dirty rose perfume with a hint of coffee, then maybe this might be um, your new favorite or signature scent. Um, so, yes, this is this was an interesting one to try because, again, I'm not a big fan of these Arabian style perfumes. If you've been on my channel long enough, you already know. Um, and so, yes, this is this is a good one for those Arabian style um, lovers out there. This is more suitable, I think, for a woman than a man. I mean, all perfumes, again, are unisex. But this one, to my nose, because of how um, the rose really does stand out and it's more of like that dirty rose, um, yeah, it, it just kind of feels feminine to me. Um, let me know if you've tried this one and if you enjoy it, if you do, um, then yeah, I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for watching my video and I'll see you all in my next. Take care. So then, bye-bye.